I wore my little schoolgirl outfit today because we're going to talk about how to properly finger as women and this is essential that you understand how to do this properly. Okay, fingering. It sounds disgusting. If you're reading this on YouTube, it sounds explicit. But listen, it's actually really important because it's one of the ways that you demonstrate to us before we're actually making love, being intimate, having sex with you, that you know what you're doing. And it's just important to know what you're doing so that you don't hurt us in the process. Yes, even those fingers can cause some pesky problems. So I want to tell you exactly what you need to do so that when you're making love to us, that if before you guys even get there, that she feels comfortable with your touch. It's very important that you do it exactly this way. Also, I have a new program, Mastering Intimacy, the ultimate lover's playbook. Now, when you're watching this video, you missed out on the big discount that we are running for 69 because we are trying to get the sales page perfect. Well, we have it perfect and the price has gone up and it's $97. But here's the thing, if you get it before June 18th, when it goes up to its actual full price, which is 147, if you get it in that small window of the still discount period for $97, my team and I, we decided that we are gonna add an extra bonus, a third bonus, and we are going to have a live webinar with me. Oh my God. And we get to talk about sex in real time. It's going to be so, so, so exhilarating for me to be able to have a conversation with you guys outside of YouTube. So you want to get it. It's in the comment section. It's in the description. Get it now so that you can get that third bonus on top of the five, five modules, on top of the two bonuses. One of them is how to build sexual escalation. That's just one of the bonuses. And the third one will also be you doing this live webinar with me. So you only have a handful of days to get it. So trust me, you want to hurry up and get it now. Otherwise, it goes up to its full price and you miss out on all the good stuff that's going on there. So here's the thing. When you're going to finger a woman, don't go just directly in there. You want to build it up so it so we can get that immediate lubrication on our own, that moisture. Not that everyone can do that, not that every woman can build that up for herself, but typically when you are fondling us, if you will focus on the inner parts of our legs, just gently touching inside those parts, that alone can start getting us wet. It can start building up the juices. And you want us to be wet inside before you go in, because if you go into it dry, it can actually cut us on the inside. So also, also make sure that your fingers are clean, like wash your hands, make sure you don't have like long dirty nails because you don't want us to get like infections and cut up because the last thing she wants to associate with you and what you want to be associated with is pain. So when you're rubbing us on the inside of our legs, that actually starts turning us on, that starts lubricating us on the inside. When you go to finger us, before you stick your fingers in, make sure that you're massaging on in between the lips. It's really important. What you can do before you go straight into just actual fingering is to take maybe one finger at a time. It depends on how tight we are. Taking one finger and kind of going in, seeing if there's some moisture. If there is, just take that one finger. Don't start actually fingering it. Take it, dip it in dip it in and pull out the moisture and then take your two fingers and kind of spread that around her lips. This is a nice massage for us. It lets us know that you do know what you're doing. And the more we feel comfortable with your skills and knowing that you know what to do, the more we can surrender to the experience. The more that we surrender to the experience, the more sensual and sexual we become, which makes it a better experience for you. So you're not laying with some like starfish girl on the bed. Like she's like, oh, okay, finally, a guy knows what he's doing. I can actually allow myself to enjoy the process as opposed to being like uptight with him. So when you're doing that, make sure you go to the clitoris. And here's the thing, this might actually shock you when it comes to the clitoris. Most guys, even the most experienced guys, 
miss this area. And most of the time, women are gonna be way too polite and not tell you, hey, dummy, you're not on my clitoris. And so you wanna make sure that you are comfortable with where her clitoris is. So that little hood above the hole and that little ball inside is our clitoris. So you wanna make sure that you're taking that moisture and you're pulling it from her lips all the way up to the clitoris. And when you're on the clitoris, don't just take one finger. Oh, that's the worst. Don't take one finger and be like, eh. Take a couple fingers and just kind of massage it. And put a little pressure there. When it's too soft, put a little bit of pressure on it. Back to the fingering. So once you've done that, and the clitoris is one of the ways that we can orgasm. Not every woman, believe it or not, can penetrate, can orgasm through penetration. And not every woman may necessarily orgasm through you fingering her. But with that clitoris, that little holy grail that just hangs out between our legs, thank you God for the clitoris, that sweet little thing when you are taking the moisture from the inside of our vagina and you are just rubbing on that clitoris with two fingers not one it just feels weird two fingers so it's creating some friction it's not just about being directly on the clitoris it's also keeping it in the center of your fingers and then rubbing it around it that friction does wonders especially when you're having sex and the clitoris is getting hit by the guy's skin oh man I'm gonna need a drink after this video, that's for sure. Okay, so you got us nice and wet. You wanna go in there with one finger first and see if she's really tight, just stay with one finger. And if, it's, if she is tight, then use your middle finger because that's gonna go in a bit deeper, right? But if there's a little bit of room in there, try two fingers and then dip the fingers in and ease them back and forth. And what you're doing is you're bringing that moisture out of her vagina while also stimulating us. So here's what you wanna do when you're inside of our vagina. What you wanna do is this. And some guys really miss the mark and they just do this, the in, out, in, out. So your fingers are like this, right? You're in between her legs, it's like this. Or you can do like this with those fingers. So it's in, out, in, out, right? Some guys just stop there. And that's just, mmm, mmm. You're like, okay, this guy's not that experienced. I hope that the sex is gonna be better. Like this is the stuff that goes through our mind. So if you don't want her mind going there when you're touching her, then do what I say. When you're inside of us and you've got those two fingers going in and out, do which ones feel comfortable for you. You can do those two or you can do like this. But when you're in there, Make sure, yes, you wanna go in and out to create that friction. It makes us feel like there's a penis inside of us. It mentally prepares us for what you're going to do when you're inside of us. Like we start getting ready for that experience. Like this is just the like hors d'oeuvre. It's the appetizer, right? But when you're in there, don't be the novice guy who's just like uh, 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 really fast. Come on, calm down. Start off slow, work on the moisture. Just remember that when you're in there, just go, Erica said, just work on the moisture. Just work on bringing out that moisture. When you're in there, also start curling your fingers and pulling it up and doing the kind of little bit of a curve. Not like completely in there, because that could feel weird, but the curve when you pull out. And when you go back and forth between this and then the curve, that creates a little bit, not just friction, but it creates some different movements for us so that we don't get bored with the experience. Now you might be thinking, Erica, but what if I'm with a girl and she's just not getting wet? It's okay, doesn't mean it's your fault. Like sometimes it's, it's a physical thing and sometimes it's also a mental thing. When we're too uptight and we don't feel that relaxed with you, those juices are not gonna flow. Or if we're still debating, here's the thing, this is why you showing up confidently with sex is really important because the whole time we're debating whether or not we actually want to continue on with actually having sex with you. So. When you show her that you know what you're doing, it, we're more likely to want to have sex with you. So when you are with someone and she's a little bit on the dry side, there's no shame in taking, getting your fingers in your mouth, sucking your fingers. Some guys even spit on their fingers and then adding that to the moisture. So when you're inside of us and you're doing that, 
you can come back and rub against the clitoris. So you're in there and then you rub up and you move your hand and you let this palm area run up against the clitoris as you're coming in and out. Golden, golden. And listen, if you wanna know more about the whole, how all of this comes together, you wanna get Mastering Intimacy, the ultimate playbook. It's now $97 and you're gonna get that third bonus and that's gonna be a live webinar, group webinar with me. And I cannot wait. This is where if you have some questions, you're like, Erica, I didn't wanna ask this on YouTube. It's gonna be your perfect time. And also I can be more explicit when I'm doing these webinars that I can't really get away with on YouTube. So it's my time to just be brutally and very explicitly honest with you on this webinar. So make sure guys that she's lubricated, make sure you're familiar with her clitoris and make sure that you're changing up the motions. You're not just going in and out, in and out, but that you're also giving it a bit of that turn up and that you're hitting the clitoris with the palm of your hand as you're coming out. There's no shame in getting your fingers wet. There's no shame in kind of spitting on your fingers and then adding that to her vagina. Now, if you need lube, you can always use lube, but it does feel sexy when it's all natural. Some women may be into the lube, but it is sexy when it's just a natural experience. But that's why everything that you do before the experience really will contribute to her being mentally prepared to receive you into her body, which is what I talk about in the beginning of Mastering Intimacy. So you wanna make sure you get that. Hey guys, subscribe and like this video. And in the comment section, tell me if this made sense to you. I would love to know your feedback and if it's something that you're going to try. I know it's really vulnerable for you guys to try this stuff, especially if you're a man and you've even been married and you're like, it's been a long time. Sometimes these refreshers are really nice to hear and like, you know what, I need to get back to experimenting and trying these things with my partner or if you're a single guy, I know it can be kind of scary doing this, but you can do this. You have what it takes. Here's a whole bunch of other videos for you to watch. Really, really, really get yourself educated so that you feel confident when you go to the bedroom with us and that she can feel that confidence exuding from you. I love you, you have what it takes, and I'll see you in my next video.